Howdy. Um, I just dropped Mum off at work and uh, I thought I'd share the rest of the ride back home with you. So, about to get this done soon. I haven't been feeling all that great. Pins and needle in my uh, right arm for the whole trip, so. Check my uh, pulse every so often in my arm and seems to be really weak in, in my right arm, so not really strong in my left arm, so been trying to keep my uh, hand moving at least. Trying to manually pump some blood through it. I don't feel the greatest but I haven't gotten any decent sleep, so... But we're just uh, trying to catch some idiots on the road at the moment, so, yeah. And now I'm hungry, I know that much. Which is making me feel nauseous as well, so... fumes off from the traffic doesn't help either. But hopefully we're still all good to um, get a young tomorrow. Hmm. These roads around there are a bit narrow. Yeah, but we didn't drop Mum off that week from last week, so... Mm. That's good as last week I went... No, the week before that I went to Brisbane. It doesn't really matter here at the moment. Takes the same amount of time on in either lane. Probably spend a minute less in the other lane though. I feel like I should have bought water or something to drink while I'm here, 
driving. But I decided not to, so. Hmm. safe and sound. I have been feeling a bit lightheaded. I've also got a, um, an appointment to go to today as well. Hopefully I'll warm up a bit so I don't wear my beanie. I'm supposed to let her in anyway, but I wasn't really paying much attention. And of course she goes slow. setup is to route the exhaust pipe in so that way you only put in one big turbo. Now I'm gonna go the twin turbo route but in order to know if I can do it properly I'm gonna have to um, get a turbo and uh, Size up all the space and all that. I'm gonna have to get some pipes too, so I can uh, weld up a, a prototype header that I want to fit in. Of course, I'm gonna need other exhaust systems, another exhaust system.
one of the color converters. I'm gonna go the you know, V8 style exhaust setup, so there'll be an exhaust on both sides, not of the vehicle, because they come down into one side anyway. And, um, yeah, you know, I have two cattle converters instead of the one cattle converter. Exhaust, two, two and a half inch dual piping. speed up but I can't get to my favourite lane so not without cutting someone off badly but it looks like that lane might be affected by people trying to go around the corner up here not at this intersection next intersection because you can't corner it Okay, around the corner on this intersection. No U turns at intersections unless indicated otherwise. got a diesel tank on the side of it and it says caution use body prop and I was thinking what well, use a part of your body for uh, as a prop I'm like what oh, cool. <laughs> and I realised it probably means body on the vehicle as a prop or prop the body of the vehicle content Willoughby had their own resource reclamation centre. Evidently they don't seem to. Oh, come on people, don't be slow. Uh, they fixed up this bit of the road anyway. Up to about, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise it needed that much fixing. Because all this the rest of this could do with some fixing too. So it sort of looks like it's been duct taped together kind of thing. Hmm. 
Interesting how long my hand's been tingling. I know I do sleep on my arm quite often underneath my pillow and I really should stop that. Mm. That's right, not one of the new ones though. And the new ones are slightly bigger. set up is it's not um, internally wastegated so, um, unless I can find a uh, GT3582 that's got a wastegate on it I'll have to add my own external wastegate get a fairly cheapish type style um, GT 3582 and uh, put this upgrade kit that I saw for it which um, had instead of an 82mm uh, um, propeller uh, or impeller and it has a 90-97 um, impeller but it also has a new billet housing as well so And that's what I've seen about a lot of these uh, dodgy eBay turbos. Is that a lot of the um, housings are pretty new? And, but if I get the turbo for like three hundred bucks, and the um, upgrade kit's about four seventy, so Australian dollars, those, so it doesn't work out too bad. As long as the uh, impeller on the exhaust side, on the hot side, is still okay. Which seems to be fairly rare, to be honest, from what I've seen of other eBay turbos on YouTube.
At least that's what I'm thinking anyway. I'm not going to get me a GT35 82 and have a look at the size and see if it all fits. If it doesn't, I might have to do a sort of weird setup through the bonnet setup and mount the turbos sideways kind of thing. Naughty me. Bad indication, bad indicating. All that, that person I have in there is quite a bitch. And um, she's she's not more often than not on her phone while driving. So. Yeah. I don't anticipate too many problems. Most of the you know. Uh, single turbo setups that I've seen where they don't have one large turbo mainly because I can't fit any more turbos in the engine bay is usually because the um, is the um, pre-95 car kind of thing whereas like uh, 98 and above um, Holden Commodores are a bit bigger I, I believe At least in the VT and the uh, uh, VY, this one, I can get quite a lot of room down each side, so I know I can just about stick my head down both sides. <laughs> so, what? Yeah, I've seen other cars like the, um, like VRs and VLs and VH, VKs, yada yada yada. They seem quite constrained, but that don't usually run. Oh, the really hot ones um, run an inline six cylinder. Pre uh, cross no, pre flow style, which I don't like. Rather the cross flow, which are normally Fords. Mm. Of course, they do run V8 in them as well, so. Like, I can get a 5 litre V8 for about 500 bucks. There's a dude tailgating me already in his little crappy Toyota. Hmm. So, yeah, I've got quite big plans. I won't tell you too much because I'll have guys on YouTube telling me, well, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that, yeah. something. Well, it makes me want to do it more. <laughs> but like I said, hopefully if I'll cut this well, uh, it won't be for another couple of years, I think. I'll probably buy bits and pieces over the years, but um, since no one makes the uh, crankshaft the way I want, I'll have to try and make that myself. Which isn't going to be easy. <laughs> that was the guy that was tailgating me. Okay, I'm back home now. You guys probably didn't see too many people driving, but there were a number of people behind me doing fairly dodgy things. 
such as the life in the metro areas of Sydney. Uh, the um, CBD isn't too bad. I've driven around there quite a few times and people actually let you in. It's just the outer burbs of the CBD that, that um, tend not to be all that polite. They tend to be way more aggressive in the suburbs of Sydney than they are in the um, CBD. So. It's a shame. And anyway, I'll leave you guys here and uh, probably see you around one thirty.